the listings uh, on WordPress do real estate listings. It's pretty sweet. There's a few options you can set in. Um, things like status, location, property types, and, and you create uh, what these are called taxonomies. So let's just register one. We'll just put, we'll call it swimming pool, okay? Just so, I don't know what, what else we'd put in here, but you know what would work good in your in your market. And so that would be swimming pools. And then here, swimming pool. Okay, let's see if it'll, it'll probably change that to lowercase. No, it didn't. So I'm gonna change it just so it's oh, too late. Okay, so now you can see swimming pool shows up here. So when we go look at listings, um, say I want to edit this one on Turkey Trail. Here's a place where there's some information. The property details go right there. And uh, you have the locations. Add and select a location. Features. Swimming pool. So let's put a kind of a swimming pool here. See if that should let us add one, but it doesn't look like it's there. Um, so let's just add a new one here. So we'll call it one, two, three, main. And we're gonna put in a short code here. It's called property details. And so that'll pull in all the information that we're going to fill out in this area. Okay, and so before that, I'll put, let's see, this historic home in the center of town provides you with blah, 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 all this stuff. Okay, we'll say it's active, so you can put it's for sale, it's for rent, uh, you know, it's new. And we'll put some prices here. So let's just say that this is 250,000. It's 123 Main. And I grew up in a little town, Rogers, Arkansas. Five, six, and we'll put an MLS number on there. And we're not gonna do an open house because we don't really think that's gonna help us. And that, we'll just say that was built in 1925. It's two stories. It's got 3,000 square feet. It was a huge place. How many square feet on the lot? We'll say it's about an acre. Uh, five bedrooms, six baths, and the pool. Put kidney. Um, so we can go in here and add some of this uh, information. Here's a photo gallery. If we want to add a gallery here, so let's just say, okay, I want to create a gallery. And we'll say that this and this and this and this are all part of that. Okay, and then we can show how we're going to show it on the page and, you know, what size everything's going to be and things like that. So we'll add that. Add a little gallery in there. Uh, we can put a YouTube video in here, so I don't have a code right now, but we'll just say, you know, YouTube video goes here. I don't want to put that because that looks like short codes, so we'll just say. So we know what it looks like on the page. I'm actually going to put this because you can grab a map code here and put... Um, a Google map or whatever you want to put in here. So we'll just put map goes here. Um, we can use this. Here's some additional details, you know, about the home, about the kitchen, living room, whatever. And then you can set SEO features here. Okay, so let's just take a look. We'll set a featured image. I think we said this was the house. And so we'll publish it. Let's take a look.
Okay, one, two, three, main. This one's showing the featured uh, image up here at the top in addition to the one on the property. So, you know, you can also remove the featured image if you don't want that. And that it just depends. We can change that on your theme a little bit too if that's an issue, but let's reload that. Okay, so oh, the bad thing is that now the image is gone. So let's just put it back like it was. Set the featured image. Okay, so we would just need to zap one of those, but basically here's the deal. 250,000, it's active, beds, baths, square footage, and the lot square foot. Remember we put that short code in here. Here's the description. I guess we really don't need this property details in here anymore. Um, there's the details stuff. And photos, okay, there's the photos we popped in there. So your YouTube video goes here. You can put a virtual tour or whatever, and there's a listing inquiry, and people figure it out. So it's pretty easy, and then um, yeah, just to change it. So we just say, well, we don't we don't need that there anymore. So let's get rid of that, and uh, you know we can change these pictures around or do something different here if that's what we choose to do. Everything's modifiable, and that's listings on WordPress.